We're on chapter five, lesson six, page 339, the homework. The biggest thing you need to remember with adding decimals is you line up those decimal points. If you don't, the entire problem will be wrong. So let's bounce on over here. Number one, line them up, add them up. Two plus three is, and then seven plus eight is 15. Got to add a decimal point there. Three, four, five, six, and dollar signs. Alrighty, three plus four is seven, one plus zero is one, two, one. Six plus nine is 15, seven plus nine, 16 plus one is 17, decimal point. Six plus two plus three, six and eight, nine. Did you beat me getting them done? Okay, race you on the next page. Devin has a new cell phone that holds 1.5 gigabytes of memory for music. He has already used 1.35 gigabytes of memory. Will he have enough space to download a song that will use 0.12 gigabyte of memory? Explain. Okay, now they purposely made these numbers super confusing. You have to stack them up. Okay, so he has a phone that can hold 1.5 gigabytes. He's already used 1.35. 3, 5. Can you see a problem here? Yes, you need to put a placeholder 0 here, and then you see that's really like $1.50 minus $1.35, right? Will you have enough space to download this much memory? So let's go ahead and figure this out. So let's, S, let's subtract. Got to borrow from that category, 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down the decimal, and there isn't any 0 there. So he has a song that has this much memory. So let's see what we have here. We're going to go 12. Put placeholder zeros there. Will he have enough? If he does that, he will have that much left. So yes. But just barely, huh? And make sure you show that problem, that you did your problem solving. Decimal points all line up. Number five, a large bag of sand weighs 48 and 5 tenths. A small bag of sand weighs 24 and 6 tenths of a pound. If Mrs. Wagner buys a large bag and a small bag, how much sand will she have purchased altogether? All right, so this is an addition problem, right? So come over here and do 48.5. Then line the decimal point up, 24.6. Five plus six is 11. Bring the decimal point down. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Four, five, six, seven. So she will have all together 73 pounds, 73 and one tenth, tenth pounds. Because pounds are what she's measuring. Number six. Grady wants to buy a basketball video that costs this much money plus this much money in tax. He has this much money in cash and a gift card for this. Is that enough to buy? So first what we need to do is we need to add those two numbers together to find out the total cost. Then we add these two numbers together to find out how much money he has. So two different addition problems. We have to line up the decimals. 59.95. And we're going to plus 2.39. Okay, 5 plus 9 is 14. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 3 more is 13. Bring down the decimal. 9, 10, 11, 12. 5, 6. Okay, that's how much money it's going to cost. Now let's find out how much money he's got in his cash and his gift certificate. So 45 50. Then he has 15, 25. Plus, those are really silly dollar signs. Bring down the zero from five, and you have five left. Five will come down. Five plus two is seven. Bring down the decimal. Five plus five, five is 10. 
four, five, six, sixty, seventy-five. Ooh, does he have enough to buy the video game? No. Exclamation point. He does not have enough to buy the video game. So the reasoning is, is that um, the video game price, the $62.30, and 34 cents is way more well not really way more but more than what he has in his pocket poor guy number seven identify structure Lakishime wants to start saving coins in a piggy bank her mother gave her three quarters so that is 25 cents times three and that equals 75 cents and two my pennies on Monday. Oh, plus two pennies, right? Five, six, seven. So she gave her that much on Monday, right? So we can put that money right here, 77. That's how much she gave her on Monday. We need to add a zero here and a dollar sign. All right, a little bit neater. And two dimes and one nickel on Tuesday. So two dimes, that's 10 cents. And a nickel is five. So bring down that five, bring down the two. So on Tuesday, we have 25. Fill in the amounts of money that Lakishi's mother gave her in the space provide on the diagram bar. Okay, we did. And now we need to add these two together. We're going to add this one and this one together. So 0.77 plus 0 0.25, 5 plus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I bring my one over here because I'm going to put placeholders here. Dollar and two cents. They purposely set that problem up. So when you get to this point right here, you're like, wait, where do I bring the one over? Remember, it's going to be a whole number. So you bring it over here to the whole number side. And that's why we get a dollar, a dollar and two cents. Number eight, Marcus entered a race that involves swimming and running. He will need to swim this much of a mile and this many miles. He'll need to run. How far will he travel during the race? So it's an addition problem. We got to line up the decimals. So our first problem... And then our second increment, five, six, seven. Seven plus three is 13. Five, six, seven. Bring down that decimal. We have one and one is two. So 237 right there. That's how far he'll travel. All right, tear it out, turn it in.